In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can beat the Wandering White at the very start of Black Mifu Kong. So as you can see in the game right here now, we are only level 5. And we're going to go over to the self-advancement tab because there's a few things I want to show you in here. So the Smash Dance, make sure you got at least these unlocked. Because then you'll be able to unlock that second focus point to do more damage. Pardon me voice, by the way, I've got a bit of a sore throat today. But... You can also get the red ties transformation by literally going straight from this point. You're going to fight Guang Shi, I think his name is. And then you'll beat him and get his red ties transformation. Don't forget to ring the bell while you're there as well for the secret boss. There's three of those, but that's in a different video. And then once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go to fight this boss. Now, it is still difficult, but if you follow my strat right here, you should be okay. What we're going to do here, though, we're going to dodge these, but we're going to charge up and kill this guy straight away because he can cause you some issues if you don't kill him. So, there you go. He's down. Now, we're going to wait for the stamina to come back. And then, we're going to go and fight the big baby right here. So, now you can run and charge your focus points. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and get two. He's already seen us now. So, we're going to get a heavy on him. And then, a few light attacks. Then, we're going to go straight for the transform. And then, we're on about light attacks now. you got to dodge him really well, though. So, get a few light attacks in. Charge that focus on the bottom right. And then once you've done that, dodge out the way and press triangle or heavy. And then you will get a nice attack on him. Watch out for these. He does this three times, but we staggered him so he's okay. And again, we can get another one. Another heavy attack. And there we go. It wasn't a heavy attack we were after. But now we're out. We're going to immobilize. And then one thing you can do with this boss. Let me just keep hitting him a second. All right, get out the way. Get out the way. So one cool thing you can do with the, this boss is these pillars right here. If you get him to run into these pillars like this, he will fall over fall over, and you can get some nice, easy attacks on him right there. So that. And then we'll get a heavy on him now. Heavy on him right there. Let that stamina build back up as well. And then you can go all out on him right here. And then watch out for him. Back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up. And once again, he's hit that, so he's going to fall back over. Well, he didn't fall that time, but most times he can fall over. So we are. Watch out. Heal up. And now we're nearly there. There he is. He's hit that again, but it didn't work. But we can mobilize him now. And this is pretty much it. He's not that bad, even at the very start. Like, first time we ran through it, yeah, he was difficult, but just do that and you'll be totally fine. Let me know what you think of this one down below. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. But before we go... You can't actually get this just yet. You gotta go and get the, the gourd off the guy. It's a little bit further on. You'll know it when you see it. But then, if that's the case, when you get to a shrine, you'll be able to redeem him from the shrine. One other thing as well is, if you do the secret boss, which is Elder Jinchi, he will disappear. So you wanna beat him before you do that as well. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next one anyway. And yeah, take it easy. Peace.